Hello balloon artists, we've all been there, we've made something enormous, how on earth do we get it to our client? Today I'm going to be sharing some top tips for transporting these huge displays safely. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK helping you take your balloon art to the next level. We spend a lot of time carefully creating these displays and creating our art. And I don't think we always spend enough time thinking about how we're going to transport the display to our clients so that it looks just as good when it arrives at our client's home or venue as it does in your studio. So today I've got some great tips and I'm going to share with you how I would transport and how I'm going to transport this display to my clients. First of all, you're going to need some decor bags. So these are the very large decor bags, not the party bags. So that's the party bag, much, much smaller. These aren't going to be large enough to transport these. So you need to get some of the large decor bags. So the first thing to notice is that I start to put the base onto a decor bag uh, as I'm building it. So at the point where my display goes onto the floor, it gets to a size where it's too big for me to work on a table. I put the base into a decor bag just to give it some uh, that extra protection. And it also makes it easier for this next stage where I start to bag it. And what I do now is I, I just start to move that bag around the display and I go very gently, bit by bit. It's important, it's very important not to rush this stage. So don't get impatient, just do it very carefully. I don't expect to get the whole thing into my decor bag on the base. So I kind of tuck it in at the top. Once I've got the base covered, I'm happy with that and I go and get another decor bag for the top bit. So that's this stage complete and uh, this number display is now ready to go into my van. So you'll notice that this display is split into three and it's individually weighted and I bag each one separately. So you're going to need one of these large decor bags. So the big displays I find that the smaller party bags uh, just aren't big enough. And for all kinds of reasons, I recommend using these bags. Uh, I don't recommend you using uh, rubbish bags or refuse bags. Uh, one, you don't want um, your clients to have that association with your product. And uh, two, these uh, balloon bags um, help to reduce the static. So they will protect your balloons and you have a, a reduced chance of your balloons popping if you're using these. So, and they're, they're fit for purpose. So the thing that I use to uh, stop the balloons tangling, I actually cut these, in, these are the inserts from uh, wine crates and I actually cut them off. It's important that you have um, quite a long section here you may need to make these slots larger than they are uh, th uh, th when they come out of the, um, the wine crate, but those things that go inside and separate the bottles. So I just cut them up. Uh, and I have shown this tip before, but some of you have had difficulties with it. So I've got a little bit of a refinement, which is particularly useful for these large displays. So you slot your ribbons into the slot and then just wrap them round a few times. Okay. Now, sometimes if you haven't left enough space here, if your card is quite short, these ribbons can slip off. But what you can do is take another card and just slot that in the opposite direction, and that will keep everything in place. Okay, all we need to do now is bag. 
I hope you've enjoyed this balloon tutorial. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos which I publish on Tuesdays. And feel free to join me in Balloon Artworks Academy which is my closed Facebook group. I'll see you again in the next video.